Today we will see about Snowflake storage integration. A storage integration is a Snowflake object that stores a generated identity and access man management entity for a external to cloud storage along with the option set of allowed or blocked storage locations in Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage or Microsoft Azure. Basically this uh, storage integration is mainly to access your external cloud storage. It can be either uh, Amazon S3 or it can be a Google Cloud Storage or it can be a Microsoft Azure ADLS. So with the help of the storage integration, we can access the external data. So let's see how we can create this, uh, how we can access external data. So this is the uh, con documentation page to show how we can configure this storage integration uh, to access the Amazon S3 bucket. So first option is here, this is a typical diagram here. So with, uh, with the help of this IAM role, we're going to create a storage integration and with the help of a stage, you're going to access this S3 bucket. So this is a typical diagram. And if you go down further here, they have, uh, have given them like, uh, see how we can create a policy and we can go to attach their policy to a role. So that's what I mentioned here. So for example, if you want to have fine grained access, then you can create an IAM policy. With the help of IAM policy, you can give access to the, uh, access to the role. That's what I mentioned here. So first thing is uh, create uh, this is the IAM uh, policy here. Like if you want to create a policy, you can uh, create this policy with the help of this document. You create the policy. In this demo, I'm going to create a policy. I'm going to access give full access to S3 bucket. So I'm not going to create any policies here. Like um, so now we're going to create this IAM role in AWS. So what it says is log into AWS Management Console. Then click on IAM. Then click on this another AWS account. Then uh, provide the account number. Then select ex select a record external ID option. Enter dummy value four zero, and click and next uh, attach the policy. Then save. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's uh, create this IAM role. So right now I'm in an IAM. So click on roles here, and click create role. Click on AWS account. I'm going to choose another account and give the account number is the same account number later we're going to modify so for the time being we want to give the same account then click on options here require external id so that is what we need uh, so we're going to give four zeros as mentioned in the documentation then click on next so we're going to attach the s3, uh, s3 policies because uh, we don't create any specific policy so we're going to give the complete full access i'm going to uh, give full access but in production we need to give the limit the access since it's a demo purpose i'm giving a full access here click on next click here, give a role name snowflake dev demo storage integration role so if you see here, since I've chosen this uh, account as given the same account number, the external ID is 00, that's the reason you could see this thing. Click on create role. So now the role is created, click on this role. Here you can see this trusted relationship here. So now you can see this, the, uh, this is the uh, AWS account and this is the external ID. So this we need to modify once we create the storage integrations. Now copy this ARN. We need is ARN to create the storage integration. So with the help of this only, it's going to create a, a storage integrations. So copy this ARN here, and I'm going to Snowflake now. So this is my Snowflake. So first thing is like you want to create next next. Next option is we're going to create a storage cloud storage integration in Snowflake. So this is the typical, uh, copy this, copy this command, I'm going to run this one here. So my integration name is, I'm going to give an integration name here. This is my Snowflake demo integration. Type external stage storage provides X3 enable equal true, and then here to provide the ARN. Here, this is the ARN. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste the ARN here. Next is allowed storage locations. So, I'm gonna go to S3. 
so this is my my S3 bucket and I have this bucket snowflake dev demo bucket so I have three files inside this bucket so I'm going to copy this bucket name I'm going to place it in this bucket path here so if you have multiple buckets you can give a comma and give all the bucket names here so I'm going to remove the remaining uh, bucket here so if you want to block in locations you can just you can provide the bucket name also here in this particular path so I'm going to remove this one remove this uh, block location here keep only the allowed locations here that's the reason if you see this origin duration uh, definition it is provided is mentioned here as along with the option set of allowed or block storage locations that's what I mentioned here so we can we can create a storage integration with, which will allow the allow the data from this location and we also we can block the data from certain locations that's what I mentioned in this uh, storage integration path here what I'm going to do is I'm going to, create, I'm going to run this uh, command now let's run this and see how it, what, what exactly happens here So it's showing us integration is created now. So once storage integration is created, if you want to see the integrations, you can click on show integrations. This will provide the complete list of integrations here. So right now this is the one integration we have created. So that's the reason you could see here. And if you see the details, like you can see the details here, like when it was created, all those things you can see here. If you want to see the full details of the integration, what you can do is uh, describe integration, then the integration name here. So our integration name is Snowflake Demo Integration. So I'm going to run this statement, describe integration, Snowflake Demo Integration. If I run this statement here, it will provide you the uh, all the information like here it is enabled equal to storage provided equal to S3, a storage allowed location is equal to this is the bucket which we are given in the integration, and this is the IEM role and this is the AWS rule uh, ARN and this is the external ID this is the complete information of the storage integration you remember like when we create the IAM role right we gave the external ID as 0040s uh, but when you give the integration we got this external ID so we're gonna replace that uh, value with this value so copy this one go to IAM role here so if you see here trusted relationship here we have given the external ID 0 so we're gonna edit this one and replace this 40 with the external ID which we got it from a snowflake so this is the one external ID and next one is this um, account number here so this account number we need to modify here so we need to provide this yeah this is the ARN we are given here so we need to modify this ARN also so this ARN we need to provide this complete ARN here like dem this is the ARN we need to modify this storage AWS IAM user ARN we have to replace this the old one with this new one here that's what you could see here once it is created Describe integration. You have to record the following value. So once the integration is created, that retrieve the. I. So if you see here, next step is create a cloud storage integration Snowflake. That's what we did. So we create this uh, copy this statement and executed this one. So once it executed, then step four step four is retrieve the IAM user for your Snowflake account. That's what we did. Describe integration integration name. That's what we did. Uh, uh, integration integration then integration name here so once you get this you will get all this information here next you need to record the following value that is snowflake uh, storage AWS IAM IAM user ARN and it will external ID this thing we have to know these two values and we have to modify the grant these IAM user permissions to access the external access bucket objects so like you have to you have to like note these two values then step five is grant IAM user permissions to access bucket objects so we have to go to trust trust relationship and you have to provide this 
two values here. What if I just do here and the update tested policy? That's what we did here. So we just replace this here and here, and then we replace this external ID here, then update policy. So now it's updated here. We could see I've ch changed the ARN as well as the external ID here. External ID. Once that is done, next thing we will create a stage. So that's all mentioned here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a stage here. So now to go into this snowflake. On, create on stage so click my stages here I'm going to create a snowflake stage and storage integration is this is storage integration and copy this and paste it here and the wireless is the bucket path so I'm going to use the same bucket path here Hopefully demo bucket And you specify the file format here so you need to provide either what kind of file you need to access either it's kind of uh, it can be like a parquet file or it can be a csv so we can give the file format for let me try without the file format let's see whether it's uh, taking the, whether it's running or not let's run this without the file format let's create this so right now there is no database here so here create a database let's create a database here create database demo test create it now next use demo test so now I'm going to create this stage here so now you could see the stage is created now so if I refresh this object let me refresh this one so now you could see demo database test is, database is created under that you will have this public schema inside that you will have this stage here no flick demo flick demo stage so now what you do is this let us list the stage this let's see if we're able to see the buckets from s3 files from s3 bucket see we have three files in the s3 bucket now i mean we have three files in s3 bucket now with the help of the storage integration with the help of the storage integration we are able to view these three files in Snowflake.